this video is for my 1993 Honda Civic LX five-speed clean North Carolina title. Car is located in Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm just making this video to save time sending messages back and forth about questions that you may have about the vehicle. It saves the back and forth about things that have been done to the vehicle, more pictures, more information, and kind of just gives you guys a walk around of the vehicle. So now this vehicle has been painted inside and out. It has a D16 Z6 swapped out of our friend's SI that he flipped. I'm going to go over the interior now so you guys can see. Obviously, it's very clean. As clean as you can get for this year. I sourced as many parts as I could to avoid having any kind of messed up interior. So there's no ripping fabric. There's no cigarette burns. There's no smells. The whole car was gutted and put back together, cleaned. Very meticulous on my build. So everything has to be as clean as it gets. The only thing that I can say is there's a little rip that's happened over time that can be sewn. Maybe I'll get around to it before the buyer buys it. Other than that, it does have a SIR EG8 four-door specific JDM cluster. Kind of rare. Again, white fake gauges, amber lights. Like I said, the headrest is all there. LED lights does come with a Bluetooth radio that you can obviously talk to people on all that good stuff just so you can see the back seats are as immaculate as the front my buddy's just chilling he's dead don't worry about him it does have EK OEM mats that I sourced just because finding EG8 would be damn near hard and not worth the money the car has been painted inside and out it is a custom blue as you can see all properly done I mean every grommet is black everything that needs to be taken out was taken out before it was painted it has JDM side markers it has EG8 side markers on the front it does have a front lip kit it has a side skirt source from a while ago I don't even think they make them anymore and then the rear also has a lip all of this stuff you can't really find anymore things are getting harder to find nowadays if you build building Hondas as long as I have the car is dropped on Tane Colovers brand spanking new uh, the wheels are Koenig Heliums 15s with Uteki lug nuts the roof is black just my personal preference how I build my cars it looks clean when you look at the car other than that, the front suspension has all been redone. So real quick, I'm going to go over that just in case you don't know what all entails. It's a all Moog suspension when it comes to control arms. So upper control arms, lower ball joints, um, the rack and pinions brand spanking new. And by that, I mean refurbished from the internet new. Um, car has power steering, AC, cruise control, uh, outer tie rods are new. Basically, everything that you can do to the suspension is new. As for the brakes, it has um, Russell's lines front and back, new brake calipers, new rotors, new pads, brake fluid, all gone through because when I painted the car, I took all of that stuff out. Now, things to keep in mind, obviously the car's from 93, but everything has been taken apart and again, sourced the cleanest that I could. Uh, so front bumper was replaced, fenders replaced, but the good thing is that I use OEM parts, so everything has a Honda part number on them. All the moldings are painted black, unlike the chrome faded stuff that most of the EGs have. Now I'm going to show you that the motor, or the car I should say, has not been started yet. This is cold as it gets. As you can see, I can put my hand on the header no problem. Now for the engine bay, it does have AC, cruise control, power steering, all working order. The only leak that I know of, and this is the only con of the car that I can think of, is the cam seal is leaking. I did replace it. Unfortunately, it must have failed. So it's a light leak. It does not leak like sieve. It's nothing crazy. 
in terms of the motor i'm going to go over that right now so back to the motor now again still cold <laughs> literally see me two seconds ago uh the motor is a d16z6 came out of my friend's 93 Honda Civic hatch that he flipped so uh, i had low mileage it got it in a trade the original motor that somebody had in here was like a y7 or something not even original to the car it actually came from newer civic but this motor has all been sealed timing belt uh the timing belt was gates and all the components that go with it the clutch flywheel brand new clutch line brand new wires caps distributor i mean seals it's got um, aftermarket fuel wheel, aftermarket lines, all AN. Iceman intake from the 90s with a matching intake also from the 90s. It's uh, APC Intimidator intake. Just because I wanted this build to be as 90s as possible. Now when I tell you I've gone through this car, that's an understatement. Everything on this car has been touched, gone through, painted, refurbished. Um, you can see every single bracket looks damn near new. Every single bolt is zinc plated even down to the hardware on the actual header uh, the brake masters new clutch masters new every single thing that I took out of this car was clean painted or replaced uh, as for battery brand new obviously hybrid um, negative cable even down to the squirters on the hood they're actually not only replaced but they're replaced with newer ones LEDs in the headlights, LEDs in the interior, and again, everything functional. AC works, heat works, everything works as it should. It does have has port mounts. Again, nothing crazy. It's a D16 Z6. You're not going to go racing a Ferrari tomorrow, but I mean, shit, if you wanted to, you could. Again, I daily this thing. Don't have any issues with it. It's never left me stranded. Again, brand new tires, brand new wheels. The full exhaust is done, which I'm going to turn it on in a second. Um, all the hoses, everything. This car should not leave you stranded. Has not left me stranded. I take it all over the town. I've been a lot of places. I have a, a coupe that I also built. But I'm going to show you how it sounds now. Again, this is a cold start. No check engine lights. No issues there. Let me uh, just unlock the steering wheel real quick. All right. Make sure it's not in gear. Starts up every time without issue. No smoke coming out the exhaust. The exhaust is two and a half all the way back, custom. As you can hear, it is not raspy. This is one of those things that I'm super meticulous on. I do not like Hondas to sound like shit, like majority of them. So the exhaust is super quiet. When you get on it, it makes a little rumble. But other than that, as you can see, the paint is damn near, damn near perfect. Now, I, I painted the car, so, you know, it's not perfect to say, but good enough. But again, the price of the car is going to be 6000 I am pretty firm on that. I don't have to get rid of the car. I'm just looking to build another. This is what I do. I pick up old Hondas and rebuild them and then sell them once I've been driving them for a while to make sure they're good. If you're interested in the car, you could always hit me up on any of the platforms, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook. It's Rays, R-E-Y-S underscore B-A-Y-S. If you guys need any more information or maybe want to share, find somebody to buy, I have ship cars across the states. I have no problem doing that if the buyer locates the shipper and has them come pick up the car. I'm not responsible for who picks up the car or where it goes, but I have no problem doing that. I have cars in Arizona, Jersey, uh, New York, California, so I can do that as well, but my price stays the same. But let me know and you guys have a great day.